So in this problem, we're interpreting some function notation. We have a company that produces microwaves and finds it costs $30 uh, to produce each microwave. They model their costs with the following function, C equals F of N. So what happens is they put in the number of microwaves. The function F tells them what their total cost will be. So C is in dollars, N is in number of microwaves. And we want to pay attention to input and output. First problem says interpret F of 0. So that means we're putting 0 in for N. So that means the number of microwaves is 0. And remember what F does. If you put 0 in, then F computes the cost. So this is going to be cost for producing 0 microwaves. So let's see which of our answers matches the best. When zero microwaves are produced, they have a cost of $30. Well, we don't know what their cost is, we just know it's going to be f of zero. The total cost of producing the microwaves. Well, we're not producing any, so it's not B. They have no costs. Well, it's not cost that was zero, it was the number of microwaves. When you spend zero dollars, you haven't produced any microwaves. Remember, the zero we identified as number of microwaves, not number of dollars. The cost, even if no microwaves are produced, that best matches our interpretation. Now, in the context of the problem, explain the meaning of F inverse of 5,000 in practical terms. So when we're doing an inverse, it swaps the domain and range, or swaps our input and output. So we might say F inverse of C equals N. All right. Now this is important because now we know that the inverse it takes in cost and gives out number of microwaves. So that 5,000 is $5,000 and its output is going to be number of microwaves. So let's see what matches the best. It would cost $5,000 to produce microwaves. Well, that's not going to really match what this says. When 5,000 microwaves are produced, it'll cost $150,000. Well, we just said the 5,000 is dollars, not microwaves, so let's eliminate that. You subtract 5,000 from the number of microwaves, then divide it by 30. Well, we already said 5,000 is a dollar, not number of microwaves. F inverse of 5,000 is the number of microwaves that can be produced for $5,000. That's the way the inverse is going to work. It's going to take in cost in dollars and give out number of microwaves. So F inverse of 5,000 is the number of microwaves that can be produced for $5,000. Notice E is backwards. F inverse of 5,000 is the cost of producing 5,000 microwaves. No. This would actually be F of 5,000 because if we were going to use number of microwaves as an input, that's n, so we would have just used our original function. Something interesting to point out about this problem, notice we never used the fact that um, it was $30 to produce each microwave. We didn't need it in any of our explanations. What we did need to do is pay really close attention to what our input was and what our output was for both the original function and the inverse function.